For airports operating at or near full capacity, the impact of headwinds on landing rates is a major issue. At Heathrow, the problem is particularly acute, as the airport is operating consistently at or close to full capacity. Here, strong headwinds are the biggest cause of delay to arriving aircraft, and once landing rates start to fall, the knock-on implications for airlines and passengers include further delays or even cancelled flights. The current system of air traffic operation works on distance-based separation for aircraft on the final approach. This separation distance remains constant, irrespective of wind conditions. While the current system is operated as efficiently as possible within the existing regulations, landing capacity is quickly lost when ground speed drops as a result of strong headwinds. By moving from the current system of distance-based separation to a system that provides dynamic time separation between arriving aircraft pairs, specifically set for the prevailing wind conditions, the impact of headwinds on landing rates can be greatly reduced. This new system provides tools to enable air traffic controllers to dynamically adjust the distance between arriving aircraft pairs according to wind speed. NATS has undertaken significant research into time-based separation, or TBS, as part of the Single European Sky ATM Research Programme, CESAR. Analysis of data for over 100,000 actual flights has demonstrated that the wake vortex dissipates more quickly in stronger winds. This has enabled rules to be developed, which set out the optimum safe time separation to be applied for the full range of headwind conditions. It's recognized that time separation cannot be manually deployed, so tools are required that enable the controller to visualize the time separation. The ATC tools required to support a TBS system will use the new time-based wake turbulence separation rules, forecast and actual weather information, the aircraft landing order, and the aircraft type. The tool will then deliver a series of separation advisory indicators to air traffic controllers based at Swanwick and the Heathrow Tower to visualize the time separation required between each pair of aircraft. The operational benefits of TBS mean that at Heathrow, through recovering some of the lost landing rate, delays due to strong winds on final approach can be reduced by up to 50%, and flight cancellations due to headwinds almost eradicated. The system is being designed to be portable so that it can be adapted for other capacity-challenged airports, such as Gatwick. This project will be a world-first deployment of TBS. While we've already done a lot of work to prove the concept and safety case, we're working to a challenging schedule, and there is still a lot of work to do finalising system changes, regulatory guidance, and air traffic controller and pilot practices and procedures. There is strong industry support for the project, based on the expected efficiency and cost-saving benefits that TBS offers, and we're doing what we can to get it into operation quickly. NATS is adopting an agile approach to project management for TBS, enabling fast prototyping and incremental delivery of a working system that will be refined at each step of development. The industry is now working together towards the common goal of delivering the benefits from time-based separation for the first time at Heathrow in 2015. Within the next few years, we fully expect it to be the standard for capacity-constrained airports all over the world.